y'all and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber and I love all things handbag related with a little bit of emphasis on the brands Vera Bradley and Look. I also occasionally, but rarely, do some content related to concealed carry and how that works with all of these beautiful bags that I love. So if any of that sounds good to you, then stick around and let's hang out. So today's video is a little bit of a departure from the norm. Um, I have a few new bags to share with y'all. I kind of realized the other day I had bought this pair of pants, these green pants that were super cute because you know how I've been loving green lately. But I bought these green pants and in my head I had pictured this white top that I was going to put with them and it was super cute. And then I was like, oh, what bag should I put with that? And I have all these beautiful, colorful printed bags and whatnot and tons of them would go with, you know, green pants and a white top. But I got it in my head that I wanted a really pretty leather bag to go with this outfit, like a caramelly tan brown kind of bag. And as I went through my collection, I realized I didn't really have that. I have everything else. I have black, I have green, I have blue, and I have yellow, and, but I did not have like this beautiful caramelly rich tan brown shade in my collection. So I ended up down a rabbit hole and the effects of that are what you're about to see. So I have five bags to show you. I have one from Fossil, one from Radley, and then three from Kate Spade. So I will start, let's start with the Fossil bag. So this is the first one that I picked up and I'm actually in this one right now. This is the Fossil Rachel Satchel. And this color is called Stone Gray. I had seen a video from another lady. Uh, her name is Melinda. I think her channel is called... I cannot remember, but I'll link it in the description box. And she has a bag in her collection that's called the Loewe Puzzle Bag. And the one that she has is in a color called Mink. And I think that color is gorgeous. It's kind of like this deep grayish shade, like a beige and a gray mixed. And when I saw this online, I got this one from Amazon for, I don't know, around $50 or so. But the pictures online made the color of this one look nearly identical to the shade of her puzzle bag. And the puzzle bag is also another handbag style that I really, really love. But Y'all know how I feel about luxury bags. I just, I've had them in the past and I realize they're just not for me because I'm just not comfortable packing around that much money on my shoulder. But I saw this one on uh, Amazon and it was on a really, really good discount. And I loved the color of it. I thought it was really, really similar to that mink color. And then in person, it's actually lighter than that. But it's still a beautiful shade. So... This is the Fossil Rachel Satchel. If you're familiar with Fossil, you know they have four or five different variations of this kind of Louis Vuitton Speedy-esque bag shape. Like my yellow one right there is called a Fiona. That's a Fossil bag. It's the same kind of overall shape and structure. They also have the Sydney Satchel. They have, they have several. But this one is the Rachel. So you can see the handles, the shorter grab handles are attached, like the leather is looped through and back up on itself there, which I really like. And I also like with this one that the handles and the strap are contrasting to the main bag color. So on the front here, you have a nice sized slip pocket. It goes from about right here to about right here so it's on the outside edges of these straps to the bottom and then you have that same slip pocket on the back here so you can see my hand down in there it goes all the way to the bottom it's a really good size and then you have a completely adjustable removable crossbody strap I do have mine set on a shorter setting for like a shoulder bag but you can easily adjust it to a length that works for you. It'll go shoulder crossbody length. And then you have a double zipper that goes around it. 
and the zipper goes all the way down on each side. So when you open it up, you get really nice visibility in there. And inside here, you kind of have your standard configuration against the front wall of the bag here. You have two slip pockets there. And then against the back wall, you have a zipper pocket. So it's a super, really, really super, I can't speak. It's a really functional bag, works really, really well. And I think I've decided with this one, I just kind of want to use it until it gets that almost saggy shape to it. Because I think that looks kind of cool. But that's the first bag. This is the Fossil Rachel Satchel in Stone Gray. The next one I picked up is from Radley London. And this is called, I cannot remember what this is called. I'm not sure, but I'll put it on the screen right here so you can see it. This, I'm not sure how the color is going to show up on screen, but this is that beautiful caramely tan brown color that I was looking for. And this was marked down on a really, really good sale. And I ended up actually finding two bags that I really, really liked in this kind of caramel tan shade. Let me see if I can get a little bit more light. That might be a little bit better. But this was on a really, really good sale. I thought the bag was so just cute and chic. And Radley does have really, really good quality products. I have a few already. So I picked this one up. So you get a little, uh, what's this called? I don't know. It's a little dangly clochette key thingy. I can't think of what they're called. But it comes with one of those on it. And if you pull it up, it's got their little signature Scotty dog there with the ring. So you could attach your keys to that, clip them on there if you wanted to, do it however you want. And it's got this really kind of oversized top handle on it that sits up. I don't know. I guess you could get that on your shoulder, but I would never, ever, ever do that. This is 100% a, you know, hand carry or crook of the arm with this top handle. And then the front of it's really cool. You just push up on this right here. I don't know if I can. So you can see that little metal bit right there. You just push up on it and it releases the front flap because there's like this little pin piece and it goes down in there and locks and then you push up to release it. So the inside is like a suede on the back of this flap. It's really nice. It feels really, really nice. It comes with the dust bag. It also comes with an adjustable, removable crossbody strap. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then on the inside you get your standard configuration again. So against the front right here, you have two slip pockets there if you can see those. So you have two slip pockets and then against the back. You have one zip pocket in there with the little Scotty Dog logo. And you just have a really good amount of room. There's still stuffing in there, but it's a really decent amount of room. And then to close it back, you just kind of line it up and push it in the hole, and it's secure. And then along the back side, you also have a nice size slip pocket. For reference, here's my phone case. And my phone fits in there, no problem. So that is the Radley bag that I picked up because I just thought it was so cute. And that, that's a fairly accurate shading on the color right there. So that was the second one that I picked up. And then these last three are all from Kate Spade. Two of them came from the Kate Spade Surprise website. I think it's kind of like an outlet or outlet section. I really don't know. I like Kate Spade as a brand quite a lot, but I don't shop from there all that often. So, not really sure. But I found a couple bags on there that I thought were super, super cute. 
and then I found one pre-loved, which was my initial bag that I picked out that I had wanted in that caramelly tan color. So I'll show you that one first. And I picked this one up from Mercari. So this is called the Kate Spade Smush. S-M-O-O-S-H. And this is in the color Warm Gingerbread, I think. So this bag, the overall shape and just the way it's designed really reminds me of the Loewe Puzzle Bag just in its overall look. Obviously this one doesn't have the, you know, the leather, the individual like leather pieces to give it that seeming detail and the breaks and the leather that make the puzzle bag so um, movable and flexible. But just the way the top handle is, the overall size and look of the bag, it just reminds me of that. So I absolutely love this one. So you can see right here, it has this really, really short top handle on it. And this is wholeheartedly just a grab it and go or, you know, over the crook of your arm type top handle. You're not getting this on your shoulder at all. There are no pockets on the back anywhere at all. But each end does have a little tiny little baby slip pocket. I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know. But... Yeah, you could get your phone in there. It would stick out. So whether you like that or not, you could do it. You have the Kate Spade logo down there at the bottom. And then you have a really nice zipper that goes across the top. This one comes with kind of a chunkier adjustable removable crossbody strap, which I really, really like. It's about an inch thick. So it's right in that range for really, really good comfortable wear for me <clears throat> and then let me take this out and then against the front of the bag right here you have one slip pocket there and then on the back you have that zipper pocket but it's just got a really really good amount of room I mean you can see the base on it is fairly wide so I think I'm gonna absolutely love this one I obviously haven't carried it yet but I love it I think this is probably one of the most perfect silhouettes I could have picked up for this kind of caramelly tan brown shade that I was wanting it's just so rich and so pretty absolutely love this one so that's the Kate Spade smush Okay, and these last two I picked up from the website. <clears throat> Online, I think this one was listed as the Chelsea Medium something. But on the tag right here, it says Chelsea, the little better something. But the print is called Deep Berry. And this one is in a nylon. But I just absolutely loved this print. I thought it was so pretty so simple and I'm not sure if it's going to come across on the camera but in the center of those flowers there's like some I don't know it's almost like glitter if you can see it right in the center and like on the leaves right there but it's just so so pretty this bag to me looks super functional it's not huge but it is like on the larger side of what I would consider a medium sized bag so right here on the front, you have a zip pocket. And then on, it's got an oversized zipper pull there too. And then on each end, you have a slip pocket. No pockets on the back. You just have the fabric and the print. You have double top handles at the top. I haven't uncovered anything yet. <clears throat> excuse me and then against the back of the bag at the top right there can you see that zipper so there is a zipper pocket on the back side at the very top so it zips all the way across pretty much and then you have a really really large zip pocket that goes down the back of the bag all the way to the bottom so it's from this seam to this seam 
it's the entire back panel of the bag. I think that's pretty cool. I like that. I like kind of little hidden pockets like that. And then the main section of the bag, you have another one of the oversized kind of nylon zipper pulls. And this one is stuffed. It comes with the adjustable, removable, kind of woven strap for the nylon. And then on the front wall of the bag right here, you have a zipper pocket. And then on the back side, you have a little laptop section. Let me just take this stuffing out and I'll show you the actual inside. Okay, I'm glad I took all that out because I totally missed some stuff inside here. And I'm not sure how easy this is going to be to show y'all, but let's try this again. So on the front wall of the bag, you have that zipper pocket right here. But if you can see right below that, there is a slip pocket. So then if we turn the bag around, so the back of the bag is against me now. This is the front. So on the back wall of the bag, there is this little snap button closure for a really nice size like laptop or um, tablet type pocket there. I would imagine more like a tablet because this isn't going to be super tall. But then on the front of that, there's another slip pocket there, if you can see that. And then in this corner right here is an elasticized pocket I would assume for like a cup like a drink a water bottle type pocket and then other than that you just have all of this nice open space in there so this is gonna fit a ton I absolutely love this and I think it is just so daggone pretty with that print but that is the Chelsea something as always, I put the numbers in one of these corners and everything will be listed in the description box in order based on its number. So that was the next one. Then the last one that I picked up was kind of a no-brainer for me. Y'all know this is my style. The adjustable removable crossbody strap, the double top handles, this little mini tote satchel style bag was right up my alley so this one was called the cake spade small ella tote they did have a larger version of this just called the ella tote but this is just a simple black leather little mini tote satchel style bag and i absolutely love it you have your two kind of slim little top handles there you can grab them crook of the arm no way you're getting that on your shoulder but you do have the, well, I can't get this all unwrapped right now, but the adjustable and removable crossbody strap. The hardware on this is, I think, gold. I think it's like a champagne gold, but I'm kind of blind, so it's hard for me to see. It almost looks silver, doesn't it? But I think it's gold. So, you have a top zip closure. It does not go all the way across the bag there. You can see the ends are kind of open, so you have that kind of breakaway zipper. And on the inside of this one, <clears throat> if I am not mistaken, yeah. On the inside of this one, the only pocket that you get is one zip pocket right on the back if you can see that there the rest of it is just open space so this is not a large bag by any means but it does have a really nice size base on it you have the four feet for protection it is a it's a soft leather but it has rigidity to it so this is not gonna just fall in on itself I don't think especially with these seams 
where they're so reinforced right here on the like the corners so I absolutely love this this is the Kate Spade small Ella tote and as far as I'm aware this was only available in black but you know your girl loves a good classic black bag so I'm all for it <laughs> So that was the last one, the Kate Spade Small Ella Tote. So that's it. I tried to make this one really, really short. Those are the five new bags that I have picked up. I love them all. Sometimes I get in this kind of mood where I want just a really good, simple leather bag. And I love these. I think they're so fun. I love that stone gray color from Fossil. I love that rich caramelly tan brown and you know I love a black bag that's just that's at my core is a good black bag so I absolutely love these let me know what y'all think and I will shut up now so if you have any comments questions or you just want to say hello then as always leave me a message down below because I love to chat with you guys and I'm gonna get out of here so I'll see y'all in the next video bye guys